Hi. In the previous step, we have created a Docker Compose file to start all different services together on the test cloud test two server. In this step, I'm going to update the existing light portal server to modify the configuration so that we can route the traffic to open banking services through light portal. The light portal configuration is in the network NT organization, light config test. Remember, this is not open banking organization because the light portal is existing service. We are just doing some update for the configuration so that we can support open banking services. If you go to the light config test, light router, test portal, so this folder contains all the configuration for the uh, for the light router instance on the portal server. The configuration is in this config folder, and this is a compose file for the light router. All other ser uh, directory, they are uh, there. The directories contain the virtual host for single page applications. And in the future, I'm going to add another single page application to access the open banking. We'll create a new directory here. Let's take a look at the configuration file and see what we have modified. We modified this handler.yaml. Within this file, you can see we added uh, several new paths. This is accounts, accounts, uh, account ID, balance, accounts, accounts ID, balance, parties, and transactions, slash accounts, slash account ID, and slash transactions. Those are the paths we basically added uh, to the handler.yaml uh, in the live portal. Uh, uh, router server. We also modify the pass prefix service .yaml. This file uh, added four services so that if the prefix the pass prefix is slash accounts, we are gonna route the traffic to this service. If the pass is slash balances, we route to this balance service. Uh, parties go to party service and transactions go to transaction service. This will allow the routing to be automatically based on the path of the API endpoint. Of course, you can use the service ID in the header to route anywhere you want without even respect to the prefix. Once we got the configuration done, we can start restart the light portal the light portal is on the portal server, and we can, it's a separate ser uh, server in our test cloud. This server is exposed to the internet, so the, from the internet you can access the server. In order to access our open banking uh, services through a subdomain, I have basically updated the DNS server to create a subdomain called ob.lightapi.net and pointing this subdomain to the portal server, which the light portal instance is uh, running. We've already got uh, the, the backend services, four different services on test two, they are up running. And we got a portal server is running already. This is a, the portal server is a virtual host server. It serves multiple uh, services all together. So let's send some request to the portal server and see what's the response we got. Let's send this request. And you can see we got a response back. We are using HTTPS slash slash ob dot light API dot net slash accounts. So you can see we are using the subdomain. We pass in the, the GW token which is Steve's GW token, and we got a response back. 
At this moment, we know we can send the request to the LED portal, and the LED portal has a LED router to route the request to the right instance on the test2 uh, cloud server. The LED router is, fun is finding the services through console cluster. Whenever we have a, a an, we have an endpoint with slash accounts, it will automatically find the instance for the account service and route the traffic to to it using the IP address and the port number, which is dynamic, to access the account service. For now, we have uh, all services exposed to the internet with HTTPS and HTTP two enabled and OAuth 2 protected. To access that, you can use ob.letapi.net. So far, we have four services implemented like 4G. However, in a real enterprise, there might be some legacy services which is implemented using like either database or some the legacy uh, uh, stack or frameworks, or even the applications implemented in another language. In this case, we can use Light Proxy to bring those services into the Light 4G ecosystem. That will be uh, demoed in the next step by now. called ob.letapi.net and pointing this subdomain to the portal server, which the light portal instance is running. We've already got uh, the, the backend services for different services on test two, they are up running. And we got a portal server is running already. This is a, the portal server is a virtual host server. It serves multiple uh, services all together. So let's send some requests to the portal server and see what's the response we got. Let's send this request. And you can see we got a response back. We are using HTTPS slash slash ob dot light API dot net slash accounts. So you can see we are using the subdomain. We pass in the, the GW token, which is Steve's GW token, and we got a response back. Let's send another response with a specific account number using Steve Who's uh, GW token. At this moment, 
we know we can send the request to the light portal and the light portal has a light router to route the request to the right instance on the test2 uh, cloud server. The light router is, fun is finding the services through console cluster. Whenever we have a, a end, we have an endpoint with slash accounts, it will automatically find the instance for the account service and route traffic to to it using the IP address and the port number, which is dynamic, to access the account service. For now, we have uh, all services exposed to the internet with HTTPS and HTTP2 enabled and OAuth 2 protected. To access that, you can use ob.letapi.net. So far, we have four services implemented by 4G. However, in the real enterprise, there might be some legacy services which is implemented using like either database or some legacy uh, uh, stack or frameworks or even the applications implemented in another language. In this case, we can use Light Proxy to bring those services into the Light 4G ecosystem. That will be uh, demoed in the next step. Bye now.